before constructing a saffron farm, a saffron vertical farm, you need uh, some important information about the structure of the building that you want to start. At the beginning, beginning before constructing, you should consider some factors. The first one is the, uh, which side is the north, which side is the south, east, and the west. You know, first step. The side of the building that you want to consider. The best constructing, the best point, you know, this is the, if you see, this is a building, this is a saffron vertical farming, this is the beginning. Uh, this is the transverse wall, okay? This is the trans transverse wall of our main building, saffron. This is a ceiling, ceiling like the eight, because this is a, has a slope for the, some region like here in Australia that we have the rainy weather in some region in the India. The majority of time is the rainy weather. This is help us to preventing the gathering the water. Okay, this is for ceiling. You know, this is a transverse wall and this is the longitudinal wall. Longitudinal wall. This is 12 meters. For example, I'm uh, giving you some information about the saffron vertical farm. It is 60 meters, five by 12, five by 12, 12 meters, a longitudinal wall, length, 12 meters, and the five meters, five meters is the uh, width or the transverse wall. Now, first factor, first factor, that's very important, in the constructing a saffron farm is point. The best important, north side. Here is the east, for example, if you consider this is the east, this is the west, and the north, and the south. You know, therefore, the best constructing what the which side of it should be is exactly like this. This is, uh, this is our building. This is the best, for example, the uh, north, and the south in the transverse of the wall and the east and the west in the in the east and the west in the longitudinal wall why because this is the because we put the cons because we install the shelves in the length of our room for example one rack of the room started from the beginning and the, another rack of the shelves great installed in the other side for example if we have the, this is the length of the five meters we use two shelves two rack of the shelf the each uh, the width of the each shelf is the uh, 120 centimeters the first one and the 120 centimeters another one why we should consider east i told you the best side is this better to be east and this is length this is the length. Why? Because we put the, uh, the one rack is the, started from the here till the end. One rack and one rack. When you consider here, because the sun region, we use the windows for the receiving sunlight on the ceiling. Okay? In the sun region, like here in Australia, we are started sometimes we need uh, the ceiling started to the opening and opening. When we consider is in the this side, and the east, the sun is coming from the east and it started here and cover. This is the east, west, I told you. And the, from the east, it started and the cover all the shelves here. Therefore, we receive the maximum of the sunlight. The sun here, here, cover, cover. And for the first shelves and another shelf, we cover all the light that we need. But for example, if you in the opposite, for example, this is the north, this is the south, and the east here, west here. When the sun is coming from the here, only we can cover only two or three meters of our room. Therefore, we cannot receive the maximum of the sunlight. First factor that is a, was very important, I told you. The second thing is the wind domination. From this side, we have the wind domination. Where is the strong wind? Very. Why we should consider this factor? The dominant wind, why is so important the dominant wind? 
in this room, in this saffron vertical farm, dominant wind is come from the, I told you, this is the north, this is the south. When the dominant one in this region, the dominant one, the dominant wind come from the here. Before that, there is not any farm, there is not anything, the cattle, the poultry, another farm. Because when the dominant wind from the here, anything cannot the face, doesn't bring any like the pollution artic pollution particles, like the spores and other things, dominant one. But if this is the correct, okay? But if we have the dominant wind from the other side, okay? If we have the dominant south comes from the this side, for example, the south to the north, therefore this is a problem. This is a problem. Here you can see we have the farm. This is a here a small farm. I'm giving the example. This is the farm. Okay? This is our building. If you can see in, in my this camera, you should see both of them. If the dominant wind come from here, and all particles, all the pollutions come from this, your building, from the loops, X house, from the window when the workers do open, all the pollution, all the contaminations come to your room. Therefore, you should consider the dominant wind very important. Another thing that for the dominant wind is very important, when the dominant wind from the here come from the here and other things the structure of the city maybe will be damaged will be destroyed because when the wind come from the here is very will be very sensitive will be very sensitive to the structure of the sun because when the wind here and the calm face maybe these ceilings come will be destroyed okay but if we have if we have the wind from the here from the here and the wind, dominant wind the, from the here, the, the wind moves alongside this, alongside this, and exactly you can uh, start and we don't have any problems. This is the resistance, it will be very high to do. This resistance, when the wind comes from the longitudinal wall, from the long side, from the lens, we don't have any problem. But when the wind, this comes to the heart of your building, that is, a, you have the face with the problems, the two important things. And two factors. The third factor, before constructing, you should give the water to the analysis. Which water you are using for this? The pH should be near the seven, the electroconductive should be under one, and also some electric of and the some things what the in the nutrient inside your water because sometimes maybe it has a problem you should give to the laboratory the water that you are using and when you, your water has a problem you should provide the water purifier for your room that is very important but in the room you can see in the 12 meters you can easily put the 4,000 kilogram saffron bulbs. 4,000 kilogram saffron bulb that is equal producing in the first time you can uh, produce saffron 4 kilogram dry saffron and the second time uh, 4 kilogram dry saffron again. Therefore, 60 meters, 5 meters transverse wall, 5 meters transverse wall, and uh, 12 meter longitudinal wall. In this room, the best, the best height, the best height for the, this room is 4.7 meters. When you have the standards. In this room, when the, with this dimension, you can easily put 4,000 kilogram saffron bulb. Per year, you can produce eight kilogram uh, dry saffron in this room, the 60 meters. You know, when we talk about the 60 meters, I mean five meters by 12 meters. But if we consider a square meter that is very clear six square meters with the shelving system equal with the 300 square meters 350 square meters we should just see in this room but also simultaneously that gave you some information about the factors like the wind i told you the standard height from the floor to the ceiling 
should be 4.7. And the dimension of your room that you want to consider, uh, 22.5 meters high, and the uh, 1.7, 1.7 meters for the width. Some of you don't consider this dimension, and only unfortunately something only one person that they come and the far one person that they exit only for the person you consider that is wrong. 2.5 meters by 1.7 meters is necessary. Sometimes your shelves inside your room face with problems. Sometimes you need to bring other tools, other machines for the cleaning for the some structure of your. A uh, room faced with problem sitting. You need to be in some machine for the uh, repairing some part of your building. Therefore, it's very important this consider. Uh, if you need my book, you can text me on WhatsApp 0098935825345. You know, this is a Black Friday, is the near. I usually, uh, you know, I have. I really don't give any discount for my book because this is all put all my experience in my book all my experience with a very simple language 100% uh, that has bought my book could can strike a saffron farm easily but after the finishing this video only for the 24 hours the people you know from the uh, five minutes later I will post this in the YouTube 24 hours after this video, only 24 hours, not 25. The people that they buy my book, I give you, I will give them a one my exotic mushroom book for the free. Only for the 24 hours. If you buy my saffron farm during these 24 hours, I will give you for the only Black Friday, I will give you uh, one my book for the exotic mushroom for free. Thank you.